Welcome to Milan. I mean, this is Lake Como, but this is no doubt the start of the Milan video. I like that we love to be cried to keep our love intact. Take a ride, turn on back so we can save on gas. Never thought I would find someone to love like that. Like that, like that. I like weekends, never leaving our bed. Office to the night ends, baby. came from the Dolomites the other day and we came via Verona and speaking of Verona, today's music suggestion is going to be buried in Verona, local Aussie hardcore band so if you like that go check it out. Verona is a very interesting little town, it's kind of like Venice but with uh, instead of the canals it's got little cobblestone, little, little pathways and whatnot but uh, it's a bit of a shit hole on the outskirts but then once you get to the Romeo and Juliet part it's a pretty beautiful little city. From Verona we headed on into Milan and we dropped off our rental car and then headed to our accommodation which is uh, kind of downtown Milan just next to the uh, was it Cathedrale du uh, Duomo di Milano, something like that, I don't know, Duomo di Milano. <laughs> so we did a little bit of exploring around that last night and uh, it's safe to say Milan is full of designer places. I swear, you can walk three blocks, you see three Saint Laurent, three Gucci, three Fendi, and eight Prada sauce. I'm not even kidding, there's that many of them. It's kind of like that Simpsons episode where Bart Simpson walks in to get his ears pierced and walks out with a Starbucks coffee. Everything's just Starbucks coffee shops. It's kind of like that, there's just designer everywhere. People are a little bit ruder, they think they're more important, they all kind of walk with a bit of a swag about them, but it's a it's a little bit dirty, but it's actually a really cool, uh, really cool city, lots of really cool architecture in it. Something that's also really awesome about Italy is they don't really care about drones, so you can kind of fly your drone almost wherever you want. You still got laws and all that you need to follow, but uh, it's not weird to rock up to a really nice place like this or in the Dolomites and see people flying their drones. So it kind of destroys the serenity a little bit, but uh, if you're like me and you want to fly a drone, it's absolutely awesome. The architecture and the cobblestone floors. Milan's been really cool for street photography. I've been smashing the 35mm G Master, just lots of different uh, panning shots of the old little, uh, what are they called? The Vespers uh, scooting on by with the cool little helmets and all that. So that's a fun little style of shot to get. But uh, yeah, all the architecture, some really cool shots to be had in Milan. Anyway, today we caught the train up to Como, just to do a little bit of exploring and then to come up to the top of this hill we caught a vertical train. This thing is built on like a 45 degree angle or something like that and it's absolutely crazy. It just rolls on up this hill so that's how we got to the top of here. We're going to hike but we thought it was going to be a little bit too long. We didn't have too much time to waste hiking up the hill when we could be enjoying the view. So that's what we've done and just before I started filming this I went and tried to try some dog shit. So 
Lucky me. So we're gonna do a little bit more exploring and then we're gonna head back to our tiny apartment in Milan. See you there. Picture perfect, it don't exist. But when I'm with you, don't have to question it. True to ocean. Trying to find a way onto a train. It's not as easy when you don't speak Italian. I don't know what that means. I did film an outro and a little bit of a tour of our tiny apartment in Milan, but as fate would have it, I didn't have the microphone clicked in the whole way, and thus, it sounds like this. So as you can see, the apartment was absolutely tiny. That bed I hit my head every single morning when we woke up, but it was in an absolutely perfect location to see Milan, and very happy that that's where we ended up staying. So that's all she wrote for Milan. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please, three things you can do. Give it a big fat thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Don't like the channel later on, just unsubscribe. Cross that bridge later when it never comes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one in Cinque Terre. Bye. Hey, are you